Hi, I'm John Morales, and I'm at the Gray Market Editions Work Studio. And today, um, I'm going to share with you a, a framed print that I ordered from a competitor. And we're going to take a look at it and then compare it to what we do here at Gray Market Editions. I always like to see what other people are doing, so I'm going to share the process of me um, taking a look at, at what the competition's doing. And by the way, I'm not going to name the name of the lab, but it's it's a big lab. It's probably one of the top three labs in the country, and, and one that professional photographers of all stripes use. So maybe you've used them. All right, so here we have our print. It's a 20 by 24 inch uh, framed print. And to start out with, um, let's take a look at the frame. Uh, the frame is just a basic black frame. and. Uh, it's very similar to the black frame we use here at Gray Market Editions. Um, it's about the same thickness, and ours is about two millimeters wide. Um, so it's it's a very nice, clean frame um, with no gesso, so it'll uh, it can withstand a little bit of bumping here and there. the uh, The framing is done very well. The corner is very nice. Um, the print itself is a luster print, um, probably an Epson. Uh, premium luster paper and uh, the color is good, the contrast is good, so they did a nice job with the print, which uh, is always good to see. But I do have uh, a very real concern um, that would prevent me from ever using this company again for this product. So what I did is I, uh, I had the, the print uh, was printed on an oversized 20 by 24 piece of paper, which is what we do here at Gray Market. And, um, and then there was, there's white space around the print. So there's no overmat, it's just the print um, within the frame. Now, what we do, uh, it, it's, it, when you do this, it's really important to keep the, the paper off of the glass or the acrylic. Because if you don't, over time what's going to happen is the, uh, the print is going to adhere to the, the glass and then uh, it'll move and shift and so then the whole print will fall apart. So it's a process that might take a year, a couple years, but it will happen and it will destroy the print. So if you have an art print that you want to, uh, you know, to, to save for generations or it's a client print that's supposed to be around, hang around with the family for many years, if you uh, frame your prints this way, you will destroy the print. So this is really uh, unacceptable, and I was really surprised to see that. What we do here at Gray Market Editions is in the, I'm gonna point out where the problem is, but so the, the paper is right up against the glass, and what we do is right up uh, along the sides, we put in a spacer. We put in uh, either an eighth inch or three sixteenths inch spacer to keep the paper away from um, the, uh, the glass or the acrylic. So um, that's what we call a fail. All right, so now let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and take a look at the back here. Uh, we've got black paper. They actually use a nice thick paper uh, for the back. And then um, they pre-hang uh, the wire in the back using two D-rings, which is really great. But we're gonna take this off. And they also crimp them, which is a, a nice little way finishing it off. So we take the paper off and uh, they use ATG tape, which is what we would use here. Um, and now uh, what I notice is uh, when to, to hold the, um, uh, uh, the foam core and the print in, um, they use uh, little staples here. And these staples are only intended to be used once. I'm taking them out now, but what we do, uh, especially, which is especially important for our uh, professional photographers who show artwork, is we use um, uh, staples that can be uh, that can be bent, and so you can you don't need to remove them uh, in order to remove the art. In this case, because of the the staples they used, I actually have to pull them out. So I'm going to do that, and uh, maybe we'll we'll cut here. So the reason why I use removable staples or framers points as they're known is because if you're uh, an artist and you're showing your work, you might, uh, you might reuse your frames. So you want to be able to take the work in and out uh, without having to pull out all the, um, 
all the points that were installed. So let's see, we've got one more here. So now we're going to pull out the artwork. And there's something else that I notice here. Um, the artwork has been uh, laminated to the foam core, but this foam core has a slight gloss to it. And in my experience, um, uh, acid-free foam core does not look like this. When I, if I get a uh, foam core like this, it's usually because my supplier has uh, accidentally sent the wrong foam core and I send it back. So I suspect that they are not using acid-free foam core um, to back up uh, their prints. Now, the importance of this is that uh, when you have acids in the cellulose, which is, uh, and the plastic that makes up uh, the foam core, those will eventually work their way through to the print and they will degrade the print over time. So that's when you get color shifting or um, fading of the print. Um, and uh, it's, you know, over the period of many years, which you can expect an art print to last, um, it will destroy the print. So uh, we only use acid-free um, uh, foam core and archival materials because we want your work to last literally for generations, if not, uh, you know, 100 or hundreds of years. So I'm a bit disappointed in that. So there we go, there's that. And now let's take a look at the, um, the actual, what they call the light, um, the acrylic. The acrylic they use is extremely lightweight. Um, I wanna say this is probably 0 0.7, um, and we use uh, something at, uh, uh, either uh, 0.9 or, or one millimeter. So this is very kind of flimsy, and honestly, this is what I'd expect from Ikea, not from professional uh, film lab. Overall, the print looked good. Uh, the, the, the finished result looked good to the naked eye. Uh, but there were some details, some very important details that I found lacking. And, um, you know, for you as a gray market customer, potential customer, I want you to know that we definitely are going to use archival materials. Uh, we're going to use uh, thicker materials that aren't going to warp or bend. It will protect your work. And everything is going to be done to the highest uh, standard, something that you would expect to be able to see in a museum or hang your work in a museum. Um, so that's it. And um, thanks for, uh, for sticking around.